This is a Mont Blanc 342G vintage pen from the 50s. I usually hesitate using my vintage pens in my studio work, but this pen is very durable and reliable and not particularly expensive. Uh, so this is a student grade pen by Mont Blanc and one that can be purchased for probably around $100 on eBay. Um, what makes it so good? Well, uh, first of all, it has a touch of flexibility to it, uh, probably a little bit more than your Pilot Falcon. It's very, very smooth, has terrific flow to it, so you can work with it fast. Um, it is also an excellent rider in reverse, though perhaps a little bit scratchier than the Pilot Falcon. Uh, what else can I tell you about it? The overall design of it is really great. It's a piston filler, which means it has a lot of ink capacity. Um, it has really good balance when posted. However, it's probably a little bit too short if it's unposted, but that really depends on the size of your hand. Um, this pen is really strongly recommended. Um, so let's take this for a spin. Let's see what this looks like in practice. Okay, I have this pen inked up right now with Noodler's Brown. Um, this pen is sensitive enough and puts down a fine enough line that I can do my initial lay in just with the pen by itself. Um, when the pen is a little bit thicker or put down, puts down a slightly heavier line, I would normally do my lay-in with a graphite pencil and then go over it with the pen. Uh, but this pen allows me to go right in with a pen without any kind of preparation. Um, I'm finding the writing experience, the drawing experience, incredibly smooth. Uh, the tip of the pen has a little bit of a ball to it, which can be sometimes irritating in that the lines don't quite fade in, fade out. But uh, that doesn't seem to be the case on this pen. Uh, it seems to have really excellent line quality. Um, <clears throat> the ergonomics on this pen are really excellent. Uh, it posts really, really well and is very well balanced posted. And frankly, even though it's a little bit short, it's also comfortable to use when unposted. One thing I really like about this pen is that it's relatively thin, which allows me to sneak my fingers back and forth towards the grip and also hold the pen a little further back towards the body. This is not a consideration when you're writing, but artists have a tendency to hold their pencil or their pen a lot of different ways to create different kinds of strokes. So for instance, for longer strokes, you might want to sneak your fingers a little further back on the pen. Um, <clears throat> this is something to consider when you're buying a pen. Um, if there is a tremendous shift in thickness between the grip section and the body of the pen, it might be difficult to hold the pen in a number of different ways. So this pen allows me to do it, uh, which I really, really appreciate. Um, it's a really sensitive instrument, uh, though not so sensitive that I constantly have to worry about controlling the pressure. So this is a good pen for actually beginners. I wouldn't call this an advanced pen uh, that's so sensitive that's hard to control. Um, what else can I, can I tell you? Well, first of all, um, if you are going to buy this pen online, make sure that you're buying the Mont Blanc 342 G. G indicates that the pen has a gold nib because this is a student grade pen that often comes without a gold nib. Uh, with a steel nib, which I've never tried, uh, which I hear is really, really good, but uh, you want, definitely want to buy the 342G. You can also, if you want to spend more money, buy the Mont Blanc 344G, uh, but it's considerably more expensive, uh, probably an extra $50. Okay, so here I'm starting to apply more pressure, and I'm noticing that I'm able to apply flex in multiple directions, which is not always the case with flex pens. Uh, quite often the flex pen will only apply flex in the downstroke. So there's my quick review of the Mont Blanc 342G, a really sturdy vintage pen that is absolutely excellent for drawing. Uh, at around $100, it's perhaps a little bit too expensive for a beginning collector, but if you're looking to buy a vintage pen and you want something sturdy enough to stand up to studio work, a pen that you don't have to worry about, a pen that doesn't leak, that doesn't have hard starting, this is a pen that is definitely very strongly recommended.